So we're inside of Alamar Cheese Company's production facility, which is inside of food building, and they're actually making cheese curds over here right now. I mean, that is the most Midwestern of all cheeses, don't That's you think? A, yeah, I mean, we're known for soft French cheese, but we are in Minnesota, and Minnesotans love cheese curds, and the kitchen wants them, so we make them, and they're <laughs> awesome. So what is a cheese curd exactly? Cheese curds are the component and building block of all cheeses. This is sort of like making cheddar cheese and stopping kind of in the middle. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. Yeah. It is. It's like salty, but it has that squeakiness that everybody is looking for exactly in the right. perfect cheese curd. Yep, and, awesome. that, and that beautiful milk that we use really shines. If you're buying conventional commodity milk, it's all going into one big vat. For us, we want to find the best dairy and single or dual source the milk so that we know exactly what the animals are eating, how they're treated, how they're housed, and that really matters, and it really reflects on the milk. These are the sort of the flagship cheese that we make. These are the larger format brie's we do. In the back is Good Thunder. That's a beer wash, soft little square. And then this is our most recent release. These are the larger sort of semi-soft cheeses, which is a tome style. So you make like five different cheeses. That's exactly right. It's all about the raw ingredients that are coming in. I mean, you have to have the skill and the craft to be able to turn it into something beautiful. But if you're using an inferior raw product, you'll never end up with something that's exceptional. You'll never get there. And, and if you start with the best, you have the best chance of turning out something special. No guarantee, but over time, we've been really lucky to, to find that spot. We have always made a point of paying a premium for the milk that we buy. We want the relationship with our dairy farmer to be special and for them to be able to make a sustainable living. And in many cases, with the fluctuation of milk prices, dairy farmers are really suffering. And we can't do this without them. We just can't. And so their success is a huge determining factor in our success. the majority of our milk is sold on the commodity market at extremely low prices, which is financially unsustainable for small farmers. That's why it's so important for makers like Alamar Cheese to have direct relationships with farmers like Kristen here at Core Star Farms. You are a first generation dairy farm. You grew up on farms, but you built this with your husband. Yes, uh, four years ago, we built this farm um, for different circumstances. We didn't end up, you know, taking over either of our parents' farms, so we decided to go out and build our own, and that way we could build exactly what we wanted. We were only able to afford 30 acres, so most of that is pasture. The land we were able to afford is land that no other farmer really wanted because it's kind of a low land. So it's the most sustainable way to both utilize that land. Land nobody wanted is now making milk. Every morning, every night, we milk the cows. We both do have jobs, so we milk them before work and then we milk them after work. When you're milking your cows and then you're selling your milk into that commodity market, you don't know what you're going to get, kind of like on a stock market in a way. Dairy is a kind of a crazy industry in the way that we make a product. We let it leave our farm before we even know what we're going to get paid for it. We don't know what we're going to get paid for until a month later when we get our check. And it's all up to the markets, so we really have no control over that. It can be really depressing just to watch the numbers go red, and day after day for months they were red for the last couple of years. So you're making less and less money at the same time. The cost of production stays the same or goes up. So the stress on these farmers that are maybe third or fourth generation farm, and they feel like the weight of their dad and their grandfather's all on their shoulders because they're gonna be the ones to lose the farm. It's heartbreaking. Mm -hmm. And we're losing more than just people running businesses. You're losing culture. You're losing that thread through families. And communities are falling apart because of it. Well, the community impact itself is huge. You know, our skid loader tires come from right down the road. We buy fuel locally. We purchase all of our hay. Somebody local grows it. And if we're not here, you know, we're not giving them any business. There's a ripple effect. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. 
But by having a direct relationship with someone like Alomar, then you do, do you have some, at least some measure of control? Well, at, at least you know exactly where it's going and you can talk to that person and maybe develop a business relationship and, you know, help each other out. Absolutely, because I mean, they rely on you. They don't get to make the cheese that they want to make without the type of milk that you're producing. Right.